Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a quick revisit on two bosses from yesterday that gave me a little bit of problems, and then we'll be going into the New Days bosses, and I'll edit that in. Uh, if you only care about the new bosses, skip ahead a few minutes, and this shouldn't take too long. But we're going to revisit um, Fenrir real quick. Yesterday, I didn't quite cap. I came close. I was a little bit short on damage, so I spent some time to optimize the team um, with killers and all. So we've got 50 or better Ice and Dark Resist on everyone. Um, yeah, so I just, you know, I just went to the builder, uh, cleaned it up, and I, I wrote down my turn order so I know what I'm doing per turn, so I don't, like, fumble around as much. Uh, so here we go. And here's Selfie. She'll be doing our buffs and such with resistance. Uh, and just FYI, the true double hand cap, as you see here, uh, it applies to mages as well. It's not just physical units. I know that seems kind of obvious, but a few people, I, I uh, didn't realize that mages also got the boost. So if you're using double hand mages, um, they got a lot better. Just, you know. Keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this dog again and try to cap damage. Let's see. So Rem is going to Holy Torch the buff away. Uh, Ace is going to triple. Like I said, I wrote all this down. We're going to Mirage. I don't know if you even need Mirage, but we're doing it anyway. And just unlock some of his skills. Selfie is going to resist buff, status immunity buff, and ready. And then Pinello is going to um, channeling. We're going to imbue with fire. And we're going to break the boss with Mancine, Min Menencine Minuet or something. I don't know. With her skill. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and steal the imbue from Pinello. We're going to steal the magic buff from Ace and Selfie. I don't know which of theirs is higher. One of them. We'll Beast Spindle with Sid to get some Beast Killer. Alright, so now we're immune to Ice and Dark, as well as Paralyze. I don't know if he paralyzes on turn one, but, you know, whatever. Go ahead and drop Sid. Uh, let's have Zahn, Reflector. We're going to steal Sid's buff. We'll steal Pinello's buff. Doesn't really matter. We already stole buffs. And we'll spread. Uh, let's have Rem, because we didn't do any buffs with her. Let's confirm she has everything. We've got Magic. We've got... Adds fire, beast. Okay, we're good. So let's go ahead and chain. This should cap damage at this point. Uh, we'll dagger, dagger, seraphim. Ace will just triple bolt in with his unlock. And then we will, uh, Faraja. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to ardor for the boost and then Faraja twice. And then Selfie will, uh, just triple Buyaka. Alright. I'm pretty sure this will cap damage. We were really close yesterday with a team that wasn't super optimized. Two point one four. Yep, that fixed the problem. Yeah, I was kind of rushing yesterday just to get through it. We had a lot of content, and I was kind of kind of busy. There we go. So we fixed that boss. I've got one more boss to do. Uh, this this is actually being recorded just before the daily reset, so. Part 2 isn't out, but it will be by the time you watch this video. Let me go to the second boss. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. We're going to be going for another re-clear real quick on Tetra Sylphie. Trying to clean up that score. Um, let's see. So we're going to be doing a Thunder Team. Uh, Regina is going to be for uh, Fairy Killer. A little bit of buffs. Gave um, The whole team has 50% or better Water and Wind Resist. And we gave her a Lion Emblem just in case Tifa doesn't fill. Uh, Tifa is wearing Cloud's card, and then on turn two, she's going to shift, and turn two, she's going to LB with some Spirit and um, LB damage, Spirit Killer. Uh, Selfie is going to be our resist buffer, our breaker, and helping fill the LB gauge for Tifa. Uh, Zahn is just the tank. Um, Rem is going to be a chainer with Spirit Killer, along with Ace. Yeah, so this is a mage fight, but I believe Tifa is going to be worth it to cap anyway. Because we're going for a turn two clear. Alright, so Ram is going to... Let's see here. We're going to uh, accelerate uh, Seraphim and then Imbue. That's going to imperil and stuff. Let's see. Ace is going to attack hand. Unlock his Chaos Wave Awaken. And we're going to Mirage. I'll wait for this to finish. I don't want it to break. While we're waiting, uh, Regina will just do all her buffs. Most of those are irrelevant. We only really need the Fairy Killer on the stat buff. Alright. Um, let's see. Tifa will shift. 
Now, we're not using her concentration because that imbues her with water. If we were, we wouldn't need all this LB fill, but we're not using it, so we do. Uh, Selfie is going to resist buff, ready for the magic boost, and um, meltdown for the break. Wait for this to finish. I don't want to push any thresholds. All right. Zahn is going to elemental the imbue from Rem, the killer from Regina, and project it. That also steals uh, a 200% magic buff from Regina, or 250% maybe. I'm not sure which. All right, so we should take zero damage here. Okay, pretty good. All right, uh, let's see. So we do our stuff. We're gonna fly in daggers three times. Uh, Zahn will chain bolting with Rem. Uh, Tifa is a little bit short. This is the reason we gave the Lion Emblem on Regina. Tifa is going to cap. Selfie is going to Booyaka. Let's see. Ace is going to Terra Burst. And, uh, okay. So I guess we're going to go ahead and chain. And then when Tifa is going to cap in just a second. Hopefully that did max damage. Two point one four. Got it. All right. So there is the those two bosses. I am now currently rank number one. Uh, the day will be resetting soon, and we'll go into the next fight. The next day, at max score for the moment, which will go down eventually. <laughs> All right. See you guys for part two in just a second. It opens very soon. Hey guys, we're going to be going to uh, the second area of Dark Raiden number five, and we're going to be starting with uh, Odin. We're going to be using this team. Uh, so we're going to be using Zahn. Now he is not built for uh, tanking this time. He's going to be imbuing wind on turn one and then um, spreading buffs on turn two. Tifa is built for LB fill in her base form. We're going to try to get her LB filled up. Uh, and then her shift form is built for human killing with LB damage. We've got 300 human, 300 LB. Uh, Cloud's going to be a chainer. We don't have the time to fill his LB with this team, so we're going for just pure chains. Uh, yeah, he's going to stay in the base form. Uh, I did not max out his chains to level 5 yet. I'll do that later in the week. So I might have to come back if I don't cap damage. Uh, Vaughn is going to be a, a breaker and peril and chainer. Uh, Axtar is the killer buff we're going to be getting, and a chainer. And then Cecil is our provoke tank with evasion, and he's going to be having some wind and dark resist. Give this a go. So I've, I've tried this uh, twice, and Tifa is not cooperating with those crystals. Because we're, we can't really fill Tifa easily on turn one, this, is, this has been kind of a problem. Um, hopefully I get a crystal this time on Tifa. Uh, let's have Vaughn do all his stuff. Let's see, Axstar do his stuff. We're just gonna um, cover and change with Cecil. Uh, Cloud is going to focus, focus, ignition. Oh, good. We got we got drops on Tifa this time. We're fine. Yeah, now Tifa's good. She will uh, regenerate the rest with the gear I gave her. All right. Um, Brave Shift Bug. Awesome. Alright, and just to be sure, we're going to chain a little bit more of Tifa. We're going to use her Magnus and do some more chaining. Oh yeah, and there we go. Finally got Tifa. So that, that was... Took three attempts, but this time RNG was blocking. Like, I got really bad RNG earlier. Uh, I was getting, like, no crystal drops at all on Tifa. It was craziness. Oh, Cecil's, Cecil's death immune, too. I should have mentioned that. Okay, um, so Zahn, we need to get these buffs going. Uh, we need, we're need we already imbued for themselves, so we need killers from Axtar. I want to get that better attack buff from Cloud, and we're going to spread those. Um, so Vaughn is going to just dual wield Luminescence. Axtar, because we're not... Um, we're only dual wielding, we're just going to AR twice with Axtar. Let's see, Cecil is going to, uh, let's see, triple cast 
Stardust Ray with Cloud. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Alright. Let's do this. Well, we killed him. Whether we, uh... <laughs> whether we got max damage or not is to be seen. 2.14, we got it. Perfect score. Okay. So, that, that team was a little bit of RNG to deal with, uh... The drops on Tifa. But flawless, we're fine. Alright, now it's time to do the mage stage, which I'm assuming is going to be a lot more problematic without Tifa. Okay, see you guys in a moment. Alright guys, next up is um, Leviathan, which is weak to Magical, Dark, and Thunder. And we're going to be going with Dark this time. Um, because we can use VV. Uh, he has Quadcast Doomsday. It's pretty strong, so we've given him some um, magic, etc. Uh, and we've got 175 Aquatic Magic Killer. We're not using Zons, we're not spreading any killers, which is a little bit challenging. Um, the whole team has 50% light and water resist as well, and at least zero dark resist. Ace is going to be a chainer. Now, the rest of the team is wearing dark weapons because, again, we're not using Zon. This kind of hurts our damage. As you can see, his magic is very low. We do have a decent amount of killers equipped. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, it should be fine, potentially, possibly, maybe, we're going to see. Rem is going to be the same thing. We've got some killers equipped and a dark weapon equipped with 50 fire, I'm sorry, uh, water and light. Vaughn is going to be our tank this time because he has stronger breaks than Zahn. I think, I think the stronger break is going to balance out having to equip a dark weapon on everyone because we're not spreading killers, so it was like whatever. Also, he's a better tank than Vaughn. Um, we've got 1,100 spirit on him because we are going to take some non-elemental damage. Which is, which is another reason that Vaughn's breaks are really important here. Uh, same thing, evasion with water and light. Selfie is going to be our buffer. She does um, you know, resistances, stats, etc. And she's got uh, pretty terrible stats. Uh, the problem with gearing five actual mages is I don't have enough gear to go around. Oh, and Pinello. I didn't even show Pinello. Yeah, Pinello is going to be our dark in peril by 120%. She chains dark. Um, and the first time ever in the history of the four years of this game, I'm actually using the Serpent Mace. Kind of funny. I've had that for like three or four years. I've never used it. But we're doing it today. Let's give it a go. It's my first attempt. I don't know the boss's AI. I know his skills, but not what AI he uses. Alright, I don't care about Barrier. We'll deal with that on the kill turn. Um, so Vaughn is going to... On turn one, we're going to Mirage, Break... And I guess power up. Selfie is going to resistance buff, um, stat buff, and I guess we'll do ready. Pinello is, uh, I think this first turn Pinello just does Shelga. Oops, that's the wrong skill. We're just going to Shelga. Uh, Rem is going to just cast Live On for the mitigation. That's for Vaughn. Ace is going to Mirage for us. We're going to um, Mirage, Attack Hand, and start powering up his Bolting Strike skills. Vivi is just going to focus and Quadruple Wall on turn one. So we will focus and Quadruple Wall. Okay. Hopefully the boss does not do anything craziness here. Power in the power of light. Okay, no imperils, so we seem okay for the moment. Uh, and Vaughn took no damage so far. So Vaughn's gonna LB. Um, let's see, Rem is gonna just accelerate. Selfie doesn't really have anything to do here. Pinello is gonna double cast. We're gonna go with channeling and then Mist Darga. It's gonna power that up for later. Let's wait to do that, though. Let's have Ace do his next upgrade. We're going to AoE Mirage again. And... I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Burst. And support hand. 
All right, VV is going to quadruple. We're going to do all the power-ups for Doomsday and then Dark Fog. We'll wait for this to finish. Go ahead and chain with Selfie a little bit. Or not Selfie, whoever that is. Um, What is Selfie going to do? I have no idea. I guess she'll start working to get rid of that barrier. I can perfect the spell with Vaughn if uh, she doesn't get through it, which she's obviously not. Alright, Beam of Judgment. Um, seems fine so far. There's the Imperil, but we're done with this fight. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're done. Okay, uh, the boss still has that barrier, so we'll just Assault Strike that away. Perfect to spell. Alright, Selfie will... You know Vaughn never took damage? I guess the boss is random if he does the non-elemental damage or not. Whatever. Don't care, so we're gonna Dagger, Dagger, Seraphim. Uh, we're gonna triple Peta Burst. And VV is gonna quad cast Doomsday. All right. Hopefully this caps. If it does, wonderful. If not, um, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. This is a uh, magic fight. Magic fights are not really my cup of tea. That is like certainly not a cap. Wow, that seemed really bad damage. Wow, that is so bad, and I don't even care. I'm just going to keep it. I wonder if Tifa would actually be worth bringing to that. I don't know. Oh, that's... that score! <laughs> How could I have improved that? I mean, I'm rank 8. So that's the only boss I, do no I don't have a perfect score on so far. I've got a perfect on everything else, including Odin. Not on him, though. I'm just gonna... Whatever. Like, give give me a Neovision Mage or something. Alright, so tomorrow we've got Bayomet, which we can use any team we want. So, obviously, Teeth is getting off the bench for that one. Uh, so, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Dark Bayomet. Later.